Hello everyone, so today we'll show you how you can show your products by category using WooCommerce shortcodes. This will be on WordPress using Elementor. So for this tutorial, we're going to pick up with the assumption that you already have your WordPress store set up as well as your products. First thing we're going to do is mouse over products and click on categories. Now I'm at the product categories page. Now I'm going to create a new category. So for this purpose, we're calling it test. And I'm going to hit on add new category. So now we have our test category. Let's head on over to all products. So now I'm here at the page where I uploaded the sample product that I created. So let's go ahead and click on quick edit. And what we're going to want to do is update the category so it will be included in the test category that we created. Then click on update to save the changes. Now we can see that the category has been updated and this product is included in the test category. So what we're going to do next is we're going to head on over to pages, our list of pages. Head over to the page where you want to display the product category. So for this example, let's head over to the home page and edit with Elementor. So now I'm here at the home page that I created for this example and we're editing using Elementor. Now what we're going to do is head on over to wherever we want to add the category display that we want to make. So for here, I'm going to click on this plus sign over here. And you're going to want to select a structure that is full width and read out any division or columns. So I'm going to choose this one. There, now this is my new section. And now I'm going to head on over to the elements list over here. And then I'm going to type in short code. So I'm going to click on this element and drag it over to where I want it to be. So as you can see, over here is the area where you're going to paste your short code. Now, for the next part of our tutorial, we're going to go ahead and refer to help documentation from WooCommerce. So I'm going to open that here. And I'm going to copy the short code over here. That's for specific categories. So I'm just copy this. And as you can see in the illustration over here, we're going to have a display like that. So I'm going to go back to the website editor and I'm going to paste the short code over here. Now what we'll do is we'll remove this category names right here. And if you remember the category that we created earlier is called test. So you can just remove the example category from the short code we copied. And let's put in test. So we type in test. And for you, you have to type in whatever is the name of the category that you have created. If you want to add another category to this display, just type in a comma and the name of the category you want to add. But for this example, we're only using the test category. So I'll just remove that. And there you have it. Now you have the test category displayed in your website powered by Elementor. So now we're here at the preview of our website. Just scroll down and there you have it. Now you have the product displayed from the category that you want specified on your WooCommerce and using Elementor. You can also tweak this code. Let's say for example, you want to limit the products displayed to um, maybe six. So just change this one over here and change the number to six and maybe you want to have less columns so just type in two and as we can see here on the preview the product now takes up 50% of the width of the page so because we set the columns to only two for this example you can change it to three and there you go now the product takes up one third of the width of the page. So let's just go ahead and preview this one on the live version. 
And we're now back to the live preview of the page and you can see that the changes we made with the columns has been reflected. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, show us some love so it reaches more people. You can also subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this. Thank you!